So any collectors that are not out of box people, turn away now because you're probably gonna cringe. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another toy review here on what we watch in the shadows. A little bit better of a setup here now. Uh, now that I finally kind of got some situations here with desks and everything, microphones, that sort of thing. And I thought a good start for this would be a pretty exciting piece here that I just acquired recently. I got to give a big shout out to Polar Bear Pop Culture Shop here in town. Uh, they are a collector's store. Uh, really cool guys that run the shop there. They also uh, do buy, sell, and trade. So uh, I've traded now three boxes of stuff there and they have treated me very well there with these trade-ins. And then in return, I get some cool collectibles that catch my eye. This right here we have is the 1989 uh, one fourth scale. This is the um, obviously Michael Keaton version. Uh, my favorite Batman growing up just because again, I was a kid, this was my movie and the detail on this thing I thought was so amazing. Um, I'm gonna unbox it for you guys here. So any collectors that are not out of box people, turn away now because you're probably gonna cringe. <laughs> I'm an out of box person, as you can tell behind me here. So I like to display stuff out of box. It just looks nicer that way. I don't know about you guys as collectors, but I tend to open stuff from the bottom. Um, collectors wise, boxes that you keep. So Pops, uh, McFarlane toys, these NECA figures. I don't know, let me know in the comments, how do you, if you do take stuff out of the box, is that preferred? Oops. Got a gel thingy here for to make sure it's still scented well. This just looks like it slides right out. Yep. Oof. That's a lovely noise. <laughs> Whew. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna just oh yes. Wow. So alone already, like the details of the suit. The face alone, I just think is really impressive. Um, I don't know if I can get it close enough. I'll do some close-up shots of this, but the face alone is really well done. And um, clearly comes with different uh, hands, uh, accessories, weapons. So we'll try to pop through some of these, whichever ones I decide to use and uh, go from there. So he's clearly got all these twist ties back here and everything. So keep some good and solid in place, which so clearly if you do, um, if this was opened or taken out of box, somebody clearly would have, uh, you know, done this already, but that's clearly not the uh, case here because these are definitely manufactured. Tomorrow. This is so cool. Good weight to it, not super heavy to be bulky and hard to display on something. And wow, like the cape and stuff. And I believe the cape actually you can, um, uh, thin like something through it and it'll where you can keep it open and everything like this wow this thing is super cool i am a fan of these neca figures i'm i, I like neca figures that are, I, I appreciate the smaller ones but these bigger size ones that are going to be a heftier price uh just have so much more to them in detail and appreciation for just like again the headgear the face alone you, you just look at them you can tell like that's a Michael Keaton Batman right there. And then there's the accessory pieces here on the side. Those are definitely gonna be a, you you gotta rip open because they are tucked into a piece of plastic here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, they're tucked into this plastic here. So let's, uh, well, hmm, I'm trying to think. I can salvage this plastic piece to be next to it or not. You can't, like really it's the one side. Well, there's uh, only one way to do that. <laughs> Clearly comes with, um, it's almost like if you have his gun, extend it out right here, uh, that piece right there. You have a batarang uh, accessory. Oh, okay, and then there are, like I said, these sticks that can uh, open up his cape to kind of make him look like having that open uh, look to him. Uh, it looks like this is for a utility belt holder for the gun itself. Uh, the different hands to obviously open them up. Uh, there is some string here for the, uh, I'm assuming that's for the grappling gun and for this piece here to kind of hang on to. It looks like that's that for. There you go. I think that's what we'll go with for now. It depends on my space too because I wanted to have these in it one of the cases behind me here, but don't think he'll fit in there like this. I don't even know if actually he'll fit at this height. Let's see. Drag you away. No, 
now he just looks like he's got these like two pistols. Yeah, nope, that ain't gonna happen. Nope, he has a height of two of these shelves. <laughs> well, not two of them, but we will surpass it. So, um, probably gonna have to go up top then. Oh well, I'm appreciative to have this piece. So there it is, guys. The one fourth scale NECA, 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. Again, really great quality of this thing here. I appreciate the jacket, the, um, you know, just the the detail for the suit, the face. I mean, the face alone is already really impressive. Like you can just tell that's that's Michael Keaton's smug like Batman face there. And um, yeah, have a really good appreciation for this thing. It's all you know plastic so it's nothing obviously like super high quality but um I, I appreciate more so detail than anything i'm not obviously playing with these um they're not like gonna get beaten around or anything so i don't expect like you know something that's supposed to like be that durable but for more i go for the more detail which i can be appreciative of so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did and uh batman and i will uh, see you guys in the next video and um so then um let's Let's go, Batman. Let's go find a spot for you. <laughs>